Hey guys, welcome back to I Dream of Wigs. I'm Missy with TL Wigs. Thank you so much for stopping in today. Today I'm going to be showing you one of Tressa Lore's newer styles. This is Undercut Bob, and this one is in the color 613-1001-R18. So stick around and we will go all over the details on this and stick around till the end. We will go outside and take a look at this color. First, I want to thank Tressa Lore for sending this style to me so that I could do this review for you. This is in partnership with TL Wigs. So thanks a lot. I'm so glad that I got the opportunity to review this. I've never had this color and I'm thinking that I love it. So a little bit about TL Wigs. I'm going to drop our website in the description box down below as well as the direct product link to Undercut Bob. You can click on either of those and it will take you over to the website where you can begin shopping today. Everything on the website is always 30 to 40 percent off with the exception of Raquel Welch and Gabor. Those only go on sale on the weekends. We offer shop pay at checkout which allows you to buy it now and pay in interest free installments over a period of time. And there's also a rewards program. Now on the home page of TL Wigs, if you scroll down to the bottom, you're going to find the TL Wigs reviewers. We would love it if you would click on those and show us some love and maybe hit that subscribe button. Also, we would love to see you over in our private Facebook group, which is also on the home page at the top, or you can reach it from this review. It will be in the description as well. So let's take a look at the inside of this cap and I'm going to show you all the fancy bells and whistles on this and then we will go over the color and the style. All right, let's take a look at the inside of this fabulous cap. So here is your full mono top and this is all double knotted hand tied right down to the lace front. So within this area, you can part this any direction you want. And you can see my finger through here. That is what's going to give you the illusion of scalp. And we will look at that more once I get it on. So here are your felt line ear tabs with the bendable stays. And then you have the felt extended nape with Velcro closures. And this is very stretchy, very nice. So we will take a look at this once I get it on. Okay, so first I want to let you know that my overhead light is off, but I do have some studio lights on the sides and one towards the back of me. At the end of this, before we go outside, I will turn my overhead light on. Um, I experimented with both ways and it was showing the color just a little bit better without the overhead light on. So, as you can see, this is just a trendy looking little lob style. Now, when I hear undercut, I always think that that is the sides and the back shaved to kind of give you um, fullness and volume. But this one is not like that, but it is layered so that it kind of gives it this A-line look. And it's really just a lob, a longer bob that has these layers in it and that's what kind of gives it the volume. I was worried upon getting this that I would not be able to get any volume. Well, as you can see, I have some volume. There is no permatease up on the top because of that mono top. But the fibers, there are, there's are, there are, the density of the fibers themselves, I would say, is a lighter density, 
but overall, in my opinion anyway, this is more of a medium kind of average density. It's not, it's not super light. Um, what gives this style all of this volume is this hair up on the top and there's a lot of it so being that mono top that is hand tied double knotted in there that right there tells you that this is going to have a lot of hair on it so this color let's talk about this color the 613 10 01 r18 so this is described as a vanilla blonde white gray and rooted ash blonde now, in here, it looks yellow, and when I look into my mirror, I'm seeing more of the white. So you definitely want to stick around to the end to see this outside so that we can see what it looks like outside. So the, the rooting, the R18, is the ash blonde, and I think it is just done really really nicely it's not real stark it's not real dark ouch i just hit myself in the face with my i need to quit doing that and leaving that on my wrist that kind of that kind of hurt there <laughs> okay and so the um the 1001 that is the white blonde and so the 613 is kind of like what i would say like a bleach blonde like a processed blonde so you just kind of get all of these different you know looking uh colors that's going through it and let me go ahead and turn my overhead light on let's see if that see i think now it doesn't look so yellow and you can see some of the white in there but it's really going to have to be outside before we can really pick that up. So let's go over the specs on this. So the front piece here is 10 and a half inches. The crown is 12 and a half. Your nape underneath is five and a half. So see how this front is longer than that. The overall, I did not measure. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, and by the way, from my hairline to my chin, I am nine inches. So that's going to give you an idea of where this is going to sit on you. So overall, I'm coming in at about 14 inches. But keep in mind that the way this sweeps and kind of wants to come to the front, that lob, that it's going to appear longer in the front than in the back. So let's take a look at the lace front i just think it's done really really good so yes being the uh full mono top you can part that however you want within that mono top and see i can tell already that just by sweeping my hands through it it's helping it stay where i want and these are what they call stylable, effortless, heat-friendly fibers. So I think this kind of a style is going to be easy to upkeep. Um, it is going to require more because of the way it hits on your clothing and right here at the shoulders. You may have to take your flat iron to it just a little more often. You know, it depends on the wear and things like that, but I think it's going to be very easy to upkeep. So I really like this. I know it's different than my curly styles, but I just really like it. Um, I did have the top, or not the top, but the front piece here trying to train that. I did kind of have that clipped in. Now you want to be careful of that mono top up there not to get that so i think we will get outside and finish this outside i think that this is a great style for just about every face um it's just a matter of picking out the colors they have a lot of colors and these fibers they really are they're just like buttery soft it's amazing it feels so good 
All right, guys, I will meet you outside and we will take a look at this color outdoors. Thank you. And thank you again, Trust Allure. And please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you soon. All right, guys, here we are outside in the natural light. Let me go ahead and do a spin all the way around. Very, very natural movement outside. And this is already starting to work for me. So outside, can you see the uh, white? My husband took one look at that and went, whoa. I said, yeah, it's bright. It's a pretty color though. I really like it. Let's do the off of the face. All right, guys, I wanna thank you again for joining me and I will see you so very soon.